Welcome to Infigyar, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting system of equations where we'll be solving for the real values of x and y. Equations are x plus y plus xy equal to 28 over minus x minus y minus 1. And second equation is x square plus y square equal to 91 over x plus y plus xy. Let's get started by writing our denominator x plus y cannot be 0. That means x cannot be equal to negative y. Now I will consider this minus to the LHS first and I will consider this xy to the LHS. So let us write our 1 and 2 again. So I will be writing x plus y plus xy plus 1 equal to minus 28. Take minus common from the denominator. So denominator will be x plus y. If I will take y common from here, x plus 1, first and last term, y I will take common, then in bracket it will be 1 plus x. Right hand side is minus 28 over x plus y. Now you can see 1 plus x is common. So I can take x plus 1 or 1 plus x common. So in bracket it will be 1 plus y. RHS is negative 28 over x plus y. Or I can write x plus 1 times y plus 1 times x plus y equal to negative 28. This is our equation number 1. Now I will consider second equation and let's take xy to the LHS. So we can write x square plus y square minus xy. This xy will come here. So minus xy equal to 91 divided by x plus y. Now x plus y is not equal to 0. So I can consider cross multiplication. So I will be writing x plus y times x square plus y square minus xy equal to 91. Now this is one algebraic identity. I will write x cube plus y cube equal to 91. And our second equation was, or equation number 1 basically, x plus 1 times y plus 1 times x plus y equal to minus 28. This is our new system. Now we have to solve this system of equation. So I will use here a plus b plus c whole cube identity formula. It is equal to a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 times a plus b, b plus c, c plus a. Now let us plug in here a equal to x, b equal to y and c equal to 1. See what will come out. So I will be writing our identity as x plus y plus 1 whole cube equal to x cube plus y cube plus 1 cube plus 3 times a plus b. So x plus y, b plus c, y plus 1 c plus a, so x plus 1. Now you can see equation number 2, this value is negative 28. Equation number 1, it is 91, I will write here 91. So x plus y plus 1 whole cube will be 91 plus 1 plus 3 times minus 28. 
let us write x plus y plus 1 whole cube equal to 91 plus 1 plus 3 times minus 28. This will become 92 minus this is 84. So we will be having 8 left in RHS which we can write it is 2 cube. So LHS is x plus y plus 1 whole cube. Considering cube root both sides, I will be having x plus y plus 1 equal to 2 or x plus y equal to 1. Now we have another equation x cube plus y cube. This was equal to 91. Now I have to solve this. So I will be writing here cube of the first equation x plus y equal to 1. So let me write here x plus y whole cube. I will write right hand side whole cube. Cubing of this equation. Cubing. So I can write formula a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b equal to 1 cube is 1. Now use this. I will be writing here 91 plus 3 times xy in bracket it is 1 equal to 1. So I can write 3xy equal to 1 minus 91 minus 90 or I can write xy equal to minus 30. Now our system is easy. How it will be? x plus y equal to 1, xy is equal to minus 30. Equal to 1, xy equal to minus 30. Now let me consider one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y, sum of roots 1, product of roots minus 30. And I will frame that quadratic itself in x. So x is square minus sum of roots. So 1 times x plus product of roots. So minus 30 equal to 0. Or I can write x is square minus x minus 30 equal to 0. Let's solve using quadratic formula. x equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 1 square 1 minus 4ac so plus 120 divided by 2 times 1 it is 2 1 plus minus square root 1 2 1 over 2 or i can write 1 plus minus 11 over 2 square root 1 2 1 is 11 with plus sign I will be having 12 over 2, so 6. With minus sign, it will be minus 10 over 2, so minus 5. So we have got 6 and minus 5 as our solution. Let me write here. x is equal to 6, x is equal to minus 5, x plus y equal to 1. So if x is 6, then y will be y will be 1 minus x. So I will write 1 minus 6. So y will be negative 5. I will write here minus 5. And when x will be minus 5, y will be, I will write addition should be 1. So 6. So this way we will have our ordered pair in x and y, we can write x comma y, 6 comma minus 5 and minus 5 comma 6. This is our solution for the given system and this will bring 
the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.